Hey guys, so today we're going to be cooking a egg pizza. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to do is get a pan, we're going to melt some butter, and I have fast forwarded this clip just because butter took a bit of time to melt. So once it's all melted, I've done this in slightly a different way. So I've got like a small plate that I'm going to put inside the pan. And then what I've done is I've separated the yeast and I've separated the rest of the yolk from the egg into two separate cups. So I'm going to put in the yeast first without the yolk and put that around the plate so it equally goes in a round motion. And I'm doing this for the first time so some of the yolk did drip out, well some of the yeast did drip out on the side of the gas so I don't know if you can see that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the plate so you can remove that with a wooden um, spoon. Just make sure that you know it's not too hot before you remove the plate. And then what we're going to do is in the centre we're going to add in the yolk that we kept aside in a separate cup. So what this does is putting a plate in the middle gives you a perfect round egg. So if you ever think to yourself the egg's too small or it's in a funny shape, just use a plate and that's your trick. So what I've done is I've used four eggs for this one because I wanted the omelette to be quite large. And then I'm going to sprinkle some coriander which I have pre-cut. And then on top of that I'm going to put some peppers, some tomatoes and some carrots and chilies. Just so it makes it look good and also taste nice. Always needing something refreshing on a morning to kickstart your day and I think this is a perfect way to be doing it. So equally spread out the tomatoes, the peppers, the coriander and spread that all over the egg as you want. This is now optional, you don't have to do it, you can just have it plain if you wanted to. And then on this, on then on the top of it, I'm going to add in some salt, some chili powder, and some uh, coriander powder. Now I'm just using a pinch of each. I'm not using a lot at all, just because it is just for a taste. Now you don't have to add this in. It is optional again. At this stage, I'm not going to flip the egg because I can see that it's already being cooked from the top, which so I don't need to flip it around. And I will show you my final product guys. So if you try this and if you like it, then give me a thumbs up, drop your comments on how it looks. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything else you want me to cook, just drop it in the comments. Thank you.